Hi, thanks for watching Dr. Linda Kramer. Today I'm going to talk about lies and how they affect us. So we all know liars, okay? Everyone lies every now and again. So let's first of all go through the three different categories of lies. The first ones are white lies. They're called white because generally, if you look at it spiritually, white is the color of the universe, the loving, unconditional love of the universe, yeah? So white lies don't affect anybody else. They don't hurt, they don't maim, they don't kill, or they don't cause ripple effects of emotion in other people. So a white lie could be simply just making up a story where you just don't want to say go to a party where you've been invited so it doesn't hurt their feelings so it just gets you out of that situation okay so they're white lies white lies could also entail where you just don't say all of the truth so instead of um saying i don't know i'll just make up an example phoebe on friends there's an episode where she meets mike mike takes her over to a family to meet at the parents for the first time she goes into this big long story about how she's had all this trauma being homeless etc a white lie in that situation could have just been her saying i've had a colorful life end of it she doesn't need to explain her situation because we don't need to explain ourselves to everybody okay and that's something that a lot of people do have to learn. We don't have to justify every single thing that we've ever done, okay? So then we get on to people who just lie, not all the time, but they just want to lie in certain situations. So let's look at why some people do lie like that. First of all, it's to avoid punishment or consequences. They'll make up a story, fabricate this huge story to others where they don't want to be embarrassed. They don't want to feel any consequence or punishment as a result, or they're trying to make themselves feel good. So sometimes people are in that category where they don't want to get embarrassed. So they make up this lie about what's happened. They don't want to face the consequences or it's to gain self-worth. So they're the three categories why people generally lie. Then you've got the repetitive, the recidivist of liars out there, the professional ones. So they're the third category. These are the ones who appear very charismatic. They know their stories so well that they do not um and ah when they talk because they remember the lies as well as the truth of the matter. So they have to live in that alternate reality of the lies that they create. And they're the ones who can turn very narcissistic because they are the ones who have all those inner insecurities. They blame everybody else or themselves for the life that they've already led and they're trying to control the present, the now. They're trying to control. So let's look at another um, classic example here. You've got a married couple, female, male. The male is always late home from work, so he tells his wife, oh, another long day at the office. You find out two years later that he's got a girlfriend. So what he's doing there is, is avoiding that confrontation and that consequence of what he's doing he doesn't what he's he, he doesn't probably feel embarrassed by doing it but it makes him feel good knowing that he's got a girlfriend as well as a wife so see how it always goes back to those three reasons why we lie now i'm going to tell you guys lying is not good even white lies even though in they don't hurt or maim people Always try and be honest because ultimately when we do our life review, we must face those consequences of our lies. If we hurt somebody else through a lie by making them feel bad or making them 
feel whatever emotion, we must face that and go through that process in our life review where we correct it. So it's much better in this reality of this three world, the three dimensional world that we now live in. Don't lie. Because when we get to heaven and we go through that life review, it can be a damn bad, bad, bad experience for a lot of people. So to save yourself now from going through that in the future, try not to um, blame others. Try not to feel embarrassed. Try not to um, think of it as a way out of a punishment because you will face it. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the ways that we can get through lying. Start setting boundaries. Like I said before, we don't have to tell everybody everything about ourselves. So if you feel embarrassed about your past, whether it be a job or a traumatic experience with a family member or when you were young, try not to be embarrassed by that. Accept it graciously. And then when you do talk to people, you don't have to tell them every intimate detail that we've ever been through. The next one is to set boundaries, not only with other people like rules, but set rules within your own self and say, OK, when I do this, I'm not going to do that. So you set a rule with yourself as well as others. So then no lies can come out. So it's always best to live honestly, and that's how we gain trust. That's how we gain respect. And most of all, that's how we love ourselves. And then other people see those good qualities in us, so they learn to love us as well. Okay? So that's lying in a nutshell. Guys, don't justify everything to everybody. We don't have to psychoanalyze ourselves when we meet people. But if you do want to stop lying or you know somebody who is a liar, please consider why you need to tell those lies. Look deep within yourself. Psychoanalyze yourself. Is it to gain control? Is it because you've got insecurities? Is it because you're blaming a past situation and you don't want to live in that now? Or is it because you're hurting inside because of some other reason? If you find out that you have analysed yourself and you say, yes, I told that lie because of that. So that past experience is what you should be working on. Okay. So ultimately with lies, try to be honest with people. Look inside yourself and say, do I really want to cause that e emotional reaction in that other person? Do I really want to upset them? Do I really want to hurt them? And if the answer is no, then don't do it. If the answer is yes, you do want to hurt somebody. Man, have you got a lot of work to do on yourself? Because it means then you're holding on to grudges. It means then you've got so many past emotional issues and past traumas that you've got to work on within yourself. Because ultimately, there's no escaping it. When we go to heaven, which is <laughs> inevitable for every single person, we must face it then. So start learning it now. And that's how we aspire to get that alignment of our soul. So when we go back to heaven, it's a very good experience. Have a good day, guys. Talk to you all soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.